so today we'll be starting with the swansoft cnc simulator so this is a software which is used basically for uh, upcoming programmers upcoming cnc operators to understand the machine first hand without uh, going on real world machine this is just a simulator to understand how to operate a machine on a basic level so first i'll tell you how to install the software how to successfully install the software here right here it is the C uh, swansoft cnc simulator so to install the software i'll give you the link of the software a google drive link in the description first run this as administrator this setup file has administrator once the installation is done and also very important thing before doing anything always turn your internet connection off if you could see my internet connection is on right now because i have already installed it but while installing always any crack uh, any crack software you have to first uh, turn off your internet connection run this ad administrator after that <coughs> once it's done this dll file this dot dll file this driver library file you have to copy this copy this file into your c drive if you go into your c drive now there is a nanjing swansoft folder go into common and this bin folder and this file this right here you have to replace it just hit paste and say continue okay once you do that you will get these two folders okay this right here is your software's icon okay now this is the swansoft cnc simulator starting page okay this is the list of cnc's these are all these are all controller names okay these are all controller names these are the fanuc controllers that are available the mazak controller that are available the mitsubishi and many other simulators uh, many other controllers that are available on this so uh, simulator software the one that we are going to focus entirely is the fanuc 18m controller okay we'll be working in the fanuc 18m controller c to there into soft dock encryption and hit run now here you are this is how exactly your simulator will look like the fanuc 18m controller we'll be studying a lot of things today's video is basically about about and only the the main part like only the keys what are the keys that we are going to use what are it uses what are the views of the cnc machine simulator what kind of views will uh, get in it now while starting off this is your basic keypad see this whole portion right here is almost equivalent to your keyboard okay this is your keyboard keys which are extremely necessary for coding like x axis y axis z axis g code m code and the extra s uh, h and t which are necessary the numbers to input okay once <coughs> see this is the page up and page down whenever the program will come over here you can uh, read the whole program by doing page down or page up whatever and these are the cursors to move to basically move the cursor from one point to other now we'll start the cnc machine and talk about the rest of the thing to start the cnc machine you first press system start this button and then um, uh, quickly press emergency key the emergency key right here is important if you could see it is because uh, let's say if you don't press emergency key and the prog and the system has some other program in it and it will continuously start to pick up that program and we don't want that okay so emergency key will stop everything okay now this number 25 over here it tells you that how many tools can be kept into your magazine if you could see there are numbers over this magazine this is the magazine of your cnc if you could see properly this is the magazine of your cnc this is your complete cnc machine and if you could see this is the magazine of your cnc the numbers are all over here 19 20 and everything so these uh, this tell us the number of uh, magazine tools are before putting any program now we have don't have any program so it is telling the total number once once this is the spindle of the machine this is the spindle of the machine once you put any tool in this spindle then it will tell you at what 
tool number you have over here okay now moving on <coughs> when you press the POS key the position key you will get to see see press position and then press all this is the key this is the soft key that you press now you get all sort of uh, distances this is the relative distance this is the actual machine position okay this is the relative position this is the machine position which means that you can change this to zero this can remain 347 on the x-axis but this x-axis you can change to zero this is basically used for measuring purposes okay then there is the program key once you hit the program key you can see I have written a small program over here you can uh, edit the program over here yeah then there is offset setting key once you go into the offset setting and you press work now you can save the x y and z see I told you the cursor can be moved from here now you can move the x y and z direction you can tell them this g54 g54 code is for your work work piece see this is your work piece it is not always that you are working only on one work piece it can be that there is a second work piece here there is a third work piece here so you can save it see number one g44 one g44 one means if we save the x y z coordinate of this point over here then it means the machine whenever you put in the code g54 it will know that this you're talking about this part once there is an other part you can save it in number two it's x y z origin coordinates you can save over here and it will be g55 this g54 is the number of your workpiece by what name you call it you call it by g54 if you have other you call it g55 and you save its coordinate over here okay so that's uh, that is the work of offset setting for offset setting you can also go into offset and this here you look 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is the number of tool that your tool number and this is geometry h h means height of the tool the tool will be mounted over here in the spindle and the height of it will be saved over here this is geometry d geometry d means the diameter of the tool you save number one tool height over here and number one tool diameter over here this is for taking the offset of the tool this is where you save it okay coming back to position <coughs> okay once you put some program let's say this is a program and i want to put some input like say x point zero yeah and then i want to put something then i press eob eo means end of block this is a single block i press end of block you see a sign and you put insert see it's telling wrong mode currently because i don't uh, have anything i have to go into this edit mode once we come here now i can press the input i'll explain it to you this in a later time okay for now these are the insert button this is the delete button you can delete it over here see it is deleted now yeah this is the graph button once you have done programming everything once you know all this program it will tell you how the path will be followed the path followed will be uh, drawn in a form of graph just to see if you have done the right thing or not coming over here okay coming over these all these four knobs that we are showing this knobs see this is the spindle speed knob this spindle is going to the spindle is going to move with some speed okay so once it starts moving with some speed the spindle there is a default uh, spindle speed okay you can see see s1000 this is the 1000 mm per minute speed and if you want that speed to remain that way you can keep it on 100 okay if you want this default spindle speed to be less you can go to 90 percent 80 percent these are the percentage and if you want it to go more you can go 120 130 150 it depends upon the machine and the kind of uh, material you have for cutting and everything now <coughs> coming to this this is the this knob right here is known as the feed rate adjustment knob what is the meaning of feed rate feed rate basically means see can you see the it is moving now see this is moving now this part this workpiece is going to get cut the movement to get cut is known as your feed rate at what speed the cutter will move okay so that <coughs> that speed is this the feed rate adjustment norm you can adjust it from here also okay see this f100 
is the feed rate this is 100 mm per minute speed this next knob is a very useful knob and we are going to use it for a lot of time okay uh, we'll see it in a later stage but for now this knob see I am moving this into Y direction these are the direction keys okay direction keys uh, this it will move in the X direction Z direction you could see Z direction this is the X direction it is moving yeah now if I lower the percentage it will not move that fast see but when I increase this to 100 it will move with a slightly bit more speed see the speed is more now yeah when I reduce it to 25% it is not going to move that speed with that speed okay this key is precisely for your movement before you start the program this is for your rapid movement rapid movements means once you installed a once you install a a, a, a tool over here so to take the measurement of your workpiece with respect to tool these keys are used for adjustment if you could see yeah <coughs> now this is the reference mode <coughs> every machine has its machine zero somewhere over here okay to find that machine zero keep it on this reference mode okay once you do that once you put it on the ref or return to reference mode now if you press y the machine will see it has gone to its y0 position see this is position all positions see y has become 0 now when I'll go on to the X part the X part is 257 when I press the X reference part see it has gone to X 0 now when I press the Z the Z is minus 42 see now Z has also gone to 0 this is the machine 0 position the, the predefined position by the machine itself okay the reference position of the machine 0 machine itself now there are vari various mode this is called as the this is called this is for the continuous moment okay this mode once you come over here you can see the moment continuous moment smooth continuous moment this is called as the jog mode jog mode you will go slowly 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 jogging slowly 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 okay yeah then this right here is a hand pulse now for hand pulse it is used for precise movement precise movements means see when you come to this mode and you press nothing will happen nothing is happening yeah see nothing is moving x is not moving at all if you see this uh, this this cursor over here yeah when you press this this right here is your manual pulse everything over here if you see x y z now if you put it on the x mode and x equal to 100 microns now when you move it into the clockwise direction see the x direction will be changing in clockwise direction it is going forward anti-clockwise direction backward this is 10 microns a very precise setting it is now moving into a 10 setting this is 1 micron so very accurate for a deeper accuracy okay and anti-clockwise now you can shift it to y axis and you can change y axis see the y axis is changing now okay you can hide it this way press the double arrow key over here and you can shift it wherever you want okay wherever you want about this reference mode when you press the reference and you take everything into reference see when I press Y see the Y reference the light is not on when you press it the lights gets on X not on now see X is on once it reaches its position Y is all Z is already in the position so these are all the key now while playing the block <coughs> this right here is the MDI mode MDI mode means manual data input mode manual data input mode in this you can write see program MDI mode see just for the sake say MDI mode this is your one block okay in MDI mode you can only say four to five block max this program can be run n number of times okay but MDI mode the program run only once it is just for checking purposes so we don't write it into the MDI mode okay <coughs> this right here is the edit mode in edit mode see you can edit the program whatever program you write you can edit it okay next is the auto mode now when you have to start the machine you go into the auto mode once you are into the auto mode 
now you start uh, your program now you can start your program see if I say single block okay single block and I run see see the tool has been changed see the machine is okay so this is how you single block is run whenever I press this key okay to go key the the program reads single single block if I don't press this key if I keep this off and I run the program if I hit this key the start key see it will complete the whole program within no time did you see that it was quick yeah so these are the basic keys that you should know of now the view okay the view the CNC view okay the front view this is the front view if say when you start this and your CNC machine looks like this okay CNC machine looks like this and you don't want this all this extra part to be there you just want to see your job and everything what you do is you go into machine operation no not machine operation see this show machine click it once then you will get this view click it again you will only see your job click it again you'll see a whole machine then click it again you have to just click it on till you want your desired view so now you are free of the door and everything okay yeah now <coughs> if you see the clamp over here for that I'll show you one thing go into machine operation select edge finder this OP optical 20 diameter okay I, I select this one the 10 uh, this is the OP 20 the the spindle is 20 the spindle diameter is 20 which will get connected to the spindle and the probe diameter is 10 it has a diameter of 10 I say ok now if you see I have a probe over here yeah I have a probe over here now what I want is I want to check what is the length what happens in this is I go on to the continuous movement for long distances see this now keep an eye on the position position all okay all check over here okay now when I go to the X direction see it is now going inside uh, 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 uh. see now see see it has turned red means it has touched the part over here okay but what if I what if I okay set up now what was the distance in the X 295 mind it 295 but what now if we move it near the clamp if you see these are the orange clamps okay okay yeah if you could see now that it is touching the clamp itself if you could see now it is touching the clamp itself see now it was 295 right now if you could see it is touching the clamp at 279 so the clamp is getting into the space of the probe so what you do you go into workpiece workpiece clamp and you change it to edge clamp so now it is beyond the edge clamp and you press ok now you see this clamp will change and now you can safely go to the edge see again 295.943 so that's it for today the next practical will be seeing uh, how to take reference how to take offset setting and everything thank you so much